and welcome to Buncombe Monthly. I'm Max and I'm going to tell you about some great upcoming county sponsored events. Now to hear any of the events I talk about in this show again, you can find them all on our website at buncombecounty.org. While you're at our newly designed website, you'll find quick and easy links to everything from an events calendar, health alerts, our service directory, library catalog, the latest news, and much more. To catch this episode again, or to watch any of BCTV's original programs, visit buncombecounty.org slash bctv. Or check out our YouTube page at buncombecounty.org slash youtube. The AARP Tax Aid Program, with cooperation from the IRS, the NC Department of Revenue, and the Council on Aging of Buncombe County, are offering free tax preparation for low- and middle-income taxpayers, with special attention to those that are elderly. These services will be available from February 2nd to April 15th, and taxes filed will be electronically filed for safe and accurate preparation and faster refunds. I'm showing you the times and locations for the assistance on the screen right now. To see the list online, assuming you don't write shorthand, visit buncombecounty.org. You will need to bring your photo ID for you and your spouse, social security card, proof of health coverage, W-2 for each employer, 1099 forms, and any other tax receipts or information that's necessary. Also, make sure to bring a voided check for a direct deposit of any refund. Well, if you didn't know, February is Heart Health Month, so Mission Health is putting on a great event for women for free heart health screenings. These screenings are especially important because heart disease is the number one killer of women in the United States, killing one in four. So make sure to get a screening because it could save your life. It's taking place on Thursday, February 26th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at Mission My Care Plus at Biltmore Park, located at 310 Long Shoals Road in Arden. For more information about these complimentary screenings, call 828-213-7160. Appointments are strongly recommended. For more information on heart disease, visit heart.mission-health.org. The Asheville Humane Society is a great spot for not only future pet owners, but also current pet owners. Not only can you find your forever friend or family member there, but they also sponsor many classes to make it as easy a transition on you as possible. Some such classes are their Feline Fun class and their Pooch Essential classes that are coming up. The next Pooch Essentials class will take place on Wednesday, February 25th from 6 to 7 p.m., with the Feline Fun class happening right afterward at 7 p.m. Classes take place at their office at 14 Forever Friend Lane in Asheville. These educational classes for pet owners will help you learn the basic tricks of the trade for training your pet and to get a better understanding of how they think. For more information or to see all of the upcoming events from the Asheville Humane Society, visit AshevilleHumane.org or call 828-761-2001. Speaking of the Asheville Humane Society, if you're looking to add a new four-legged member to your family, look no further. They have plenty of adoptable dogs, cats, and more. Cats like Sarah here, who are in need of a good home. Now, when you adopt from the Asheville Humane Society, not only are you saving a life, but all of the pets have been spayed, neutered, received their shots, and some basic training. The Asheville Humane Society is dedicated to promoting the compassionate treatment of animals in our community through education, sheltering, and adoption. Come visit the Asheville Humane Society's Adoption Center at 14 Forever Friend Lane, just south of the Farmer's Market, to see all of the wonderful animals we have for adoption. This is Baby. She's a nine-year-old female domestic short hair, and this friendly little girl absolutely loves to play. Chester's a three-year-old male Great Dane Boxer mix. This sweetheart loves to play in this one big package. Tangerine is an eight-year-old domestic short hair. She's also extremely friendly and outgoing and just look at that beautiful coat. Matthew is a four-year-old Blue Healer mix and he would make an awesome Frisbee dog. This is Roma, a two-year-old female Maine Coon mix and she is a beautiful girl just looking for some place to hang out at. Bogey's a nine-month-old pit bull terrier mix, and he needs somebody who will run and play and take him out jogging. Anise is a three-year-old female domestic short hair, and this is one mellow beauty. She just wants to lay in your windowsill. 
Sonic is a two-year-old pit bull terrier mix, a boy who loves to go for car rides. Meet Chase. He's a 10-year-old domestic short hair boy. And look at those sad eyes. Don't you want to take him home? Wonder Dog is a six-year-old wired hair terrier Dotson mix. This boy came in as a stray and he has a special needs. He's 100% blind. To reach the Asheville Humane Society, you can call us at 828-761-2001 or to view all of our available animals for adoption, visit our website at AshevilleHumane.org. Buncombe County Parks and Rec want to help you keep up with your healthy New Year's resolutions by inviting you to their Healthy Parks, Healthy You 5K Run Walk. This will be their sixth year holding the event and it will take place on Saturday, March 7th with the race beginning at 10.30 a.m. This event is open to adults and children of all ages. The cost is $12 for adults and $7 for children aged 4 to 15. Early registration also includes an event t-shirt. Walkers are welcome to bring baby joggers, but for the safety of the walkers and runners, no dogs or bikes are permitted. For more information or for early registration, call 828-250-4269 or email j.nelson at buncombecounty.org. Aside from the Healthy 5K, Buncombe County Parks and Rec also sponsors many events and leagues to help keep you active. One of which coming up is their Adult League Kickball and registration has already begun. The games will take place beginning in March, but signups have already begun for this popular league. Rules state that a team must consist of at least 10 players, with a minimum of 3 females per team. And the season will consist of 10 regular games and a league championship game. Cost is $40 per person or $260 per team, which includes team t-shirts. Returning teams who already have shirts can pay just $160. Registration will close as soon as the league fills up, so you better sign up quickly. For more information, call 828-250-4269 or email j.nelson at buncombecounty.org. The library system in Buncombe County has been an integral part of our community for over 125 years. Not only are they great places to check out books, movies, music, and more, but they also have great story times for kids of all ages. These story times range from a mother goose time for children aged 4 to 18 months, to toddler time for 18 months to 3 years, to a preschool story time for 3 to 5 year olds, to even a school age story time for 5 to 7 year olds. So if you're looking for a great activity for your children, visit buncombecounty.org slash library today and get the story time schedule for the local branch library nearest you. Aside from the great story times for kids, the library system of Buncombe County also sponsors many great events for every age and interest. And here are a few coming up. On Friday, February 13th at 11 a.m., the Lester Library is hosting a Valentine's Day tea party. Calling all princes and princesses, come dressed in your finest for a Valentine's Day tea party featuring games, snacks, and refreshments. It's designed for ages 2 to 8. On Wednesday, February 18th at 10.30 a.m., the South Buncombe Skyland Library is getting a special visit from the Tooth Fairy. The special story time presented in conjunction with Asheville Pediatric Dentistry will teach about the importance of dental health and will be fun for the whole family. On Friday, February 20th at 4 p.m., the Weaverville Library is holding the next of their TAG, or Teen Awesome Group meetings, with a cupcake war. Decorate and eat the cupcakes you create with all of the supplies provided. And finally, on Thursday, February 26th at 2.30 p.m., the Skyland South Buncombe Library is hosting firefighting and Buncombe County author Brian Lawrence. Long-standing firefighter Lawrence will present an engaging program showcasing and honoring our local firefighters who have always worked to keep our communities safe. If you're currently the caretaker of someone dealing with end-of-life issues, or if you yourself are dealing with end-of-life issues, then the Council on Aging of Buncombe County has a great advanced care planning workshop that can help you be prepared. It will take place on Thursday, February 19th from 4 to 5 p.m. at the Reuters Center, located at UNCA 1 University Heights. This workshop will feature a panel whose members are experienced in addressing end-of-life issues. Discussions will include communicating your treatment wishes to loved ones and medical personnel, 
ethical and legal issues, and the uses of advanced directives. For more information, contact the Council on Aging of Buncombe County at 828-277-8288 or visit coabc.org. The Buncombe County Sheriff's Office is now open for business in its new location on the fourth floor of the Judicial Complex in downtown Asheville. The Sheriff's Office Administration, Criminal Investigations Division, and Support Operations will all be at this location. Also, if you want to drop off your old prescription drugs, the drop box is now located on the first floor of the Judicial Complex before you go through the metal detectors on the left. The public is welcome to conduct business and make inquiries at this new location. For more information, call 828-250-6670 or visit buncombecounty.org slash sheriff. You don't have to be a superhero to stop crime. All you have to do is keep your eyes out for this month's Mountains Most Wanted. Buncombe County Crime Stoppers is an important program that allows you, the citizens of Buncombe County, to partner with law enforcement to help keep our community safer. Your anonymous calls are very important tools to help us locate people who are wanted by authorities. I also want to personally thank you for making Crime Stoppers the most watched program on Buncombe County TV. Here are a few subjects we're looking for right now. Jennifer Jane Davies is wanted for the intent to manufacture, sell, and distribute heroin, selling heroin, and possession of heroin. Davies is a white female with blonde hair and blue eyes. She is 5 foot 6 and weighs 135 pounds. Her last known address, 20 Davidson Drive, Asheville. Richard Allen Johnson Jr. is wanted for communicating threats, injury to personal property, assault with a deadly weapon, and simple assault. Johnson is a white male who is 6 foot 4 and weighs 200 pounds. His last known address, 5646 Plainfield Road, Cincinnati, Ohio. If you know the location of any of the mounts most wanted, you could receive a cash reward. All you have to do is email tips at buncombecounty.org or you can call Crime Stoppers at 828-255-5050. With your help, we can continue to make Buncombe County a safer place to live, work, and play. Well, thank you for watching and thank you for joining us at Lake Julian Park. Now, as I said before, all of the information I went over in this episode can be found online at our website at buncombecounty.org. To catch this episode again or to watch any of BCTV's original programs, visit buncombecounty.org slash bctv or check out our YouTube page at buncombecounty.org slash YouTube. Now, now I'll leave you with this. As I said before, February is Heart Awareness Month, so if you haven't got your numbers checked, I definitely recommend you do. It takes no time at all, and it's the number one indicator of how your heart health is. As I mentioned before, heart disease is the number one killer of men and women in the United States. So get your numbers checked, and have a great February, Buncombe County.